Welcome, welcome, my beautiful Taurus. Here is your reading for this week. Your all over energy card you've been given is time for a nap. So possibly some of you just need to rest, rejuvenate and renew. Uh, this is all about that and taking temporary non-action, just allowing things to fall into line as they should, not forcing things. It's a time to step away and rest. Let the cares of your world go away. Go into a state of non-action and allow yourself to be free of any shackles like goals and lists and your desires. Right Right now you're being given that information so that you know when it comes to matters of the heart too don't make any plans right now you you know if you're not partnered up with somebody it's good to take this time out to get to know yourself if you're involved with someone relax and just be with your partner um, I don't think you need to be pushing things. This is a great time to take a break from your busy schedules and allow yourself the opportunity to step back. Your plans are meant to be put on ice right now so let things go right now. Uh, it just means that the universe is saying maybe you've just done a little bit too much right now and it's saying it's time for you to step back and take a rest. Coming in with your first energy card you have been given face your fears. Release the power of fear. Uh, you've heard me say this a thousand times before. Never let fear lead you on your path because it totally cripples you and stops you from being able to give birth to your dreams, being able to move towards your goals. It's got a subtle way of allowing you the dark side of yourself and, and to get into that feeling of you know of loss and lack and worry it immobilizes you it steals your freedom and and your courage to go ahead so you know have courage today your mantra should be I have courage today and I am going to overcome my fears so whatever your that is holding you back right now whatever it is you're worried about let that worry go now your your second energy card is have courage confidence. Well, how awesome is that? Moving forward does not necessarily require you to have confidence in yourself. Confidence in the universe, confident confidence in source, you know, along with knowing that source works thoroughly and through you and with you at all in all ways. So lean upon it uh, for your confidence, okay? And know that you're going to be getting it from the universe. You're going to be getting it from source. You're going to be getting it from the divine. So step up into your confidence, okay? Step up into the power of that and know that you're being protected, that you're being given this guidance. Let go of the those fears. Take your time to think about things this week. What do you need to surrender to? Surrender to setting limits. It is healthy to set boundaries in relationships. Practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. So maybe you're being uh, pushed by other people. Maybe somebody's trying to, to you know, um, make you do something you don't want to do this week. Maybe you're trying to be, they're trying to manipulate you into something. So you know what? Um, set up your boundaries but also know that you have no limitations here don't be afraid don't step into your fear factor here either uh, move forward you know I think that you need to just realize that you can say no to people and whatever they're trying to make you want to do it's time for you to step back and rest maybe you're pulling back from a friendship or a relationship right now because they're too pushy they're too forceful they're stressing you out at this time uh, it could be a family member that's doing this as well so I would definitely Definitely just you know say no without guilt uh, without explanation like they say it's a full sentence to say no to somebody and they have to understand it and if they don't they can be mad till they're glad again not your problem so step up into your confidence here let go of any fear and realize it's time for you to step back from something at this time okay okay coming in with your <clears throat> crowning energy here with your tarot reading you've got the three of pentacles stepping up expressing yourself communicating yourself you know going out there maybe you're mentoring teaching maybe you're creating a team of your own uh helping to mentor others to bring into your fold for others you could be collaborating ideas with someone else that isn't the same type of job as you or they have the same goals they have the same beliefs that you do and I think this week will be communicating with other people not doing things all on your own so you could be uh, being asked to step up to speak your piece or promote something with a team you're a great team player my beautiful Taurus so you could be getting involved with some sort of teamwork here You've got the devil coming in behind you and that is the card of major decisions, healthy decisions, the right decisions that you need to make for yourself to be happy and successful 
and healthy. Um, you, this is a card that says, you know, maybe there's toxic energy around you, negative energy around you, giving up addictive behavior, letting go of addictive worry, uh, you know, addictive overthinking and analyzing, addictive, um, you know, could be anything, overeating, uh, you know, over drinking, whatever the case is, I think you're going to be giving it up. You could be involved with somebody who has addictive behavior as well because I think you're walking away from something. And as this reading goes on, and maybe, you know, I tell people you can't heal the whole world and we can't make people do something they don't want to do. But I think you're going to be making the healthy decisions this week that are going to benefit you. Aces, beautiful. Ace of Pentacles, yeah. Prosperity, abundance. Maybe you're getting a promotion, some of you. Maybe you're going to get some unexpected money uh, from somewhere. It's absolutely a beautiful card when it shows up in a reading because it talks about the flow of abundance and again it could be a promotion or a salary increase or you could even be getting unexpected money coming in but know that it's a good time right now it's a good time to to consider any opportunities carefully but it's a good time to make an investment into them when they come in some of you it could have to do with improving health because again this is one of those cards that talks about improving health coming in remember I'm not a doctor I'm only going according to intuition what my guides tell me and also what the card represents and this is one of the meanings of the ace of Pentacles so know that some of you will be uh, experiencing improving health. Some of you could be going back to school and maybe you're going to be getting a degree or a credit in something. It's all about excellent luck coming in. You've got the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords says some of you might have felt left out in the dark. You were, you were stuck in a situation. You couldn't move forward. You felt almost like you'd been stabbed in the back. Guess what? It's over. Now the worst is over. You're able to see that there's light at the end of the tunnel. You're going in a new direction. You don't have to worry about that negative situation anymore. Maybe you've made those right decisions to walk away from that toxic energy that you were being held back by. Coming in in your now position, the energy you could be experiencing now above your crowning energy, you have two threes here. You had the three of pentacles. Now you have the three of cups. Reason to celebrate, wanting to get together with your friends or your family, those close to you that you want to celebrate with. And maybe it's celebration of an announcement that's coming in. Maybe there's going to be an announcement of a birth, a wedding, an engagement, uh, something like that. It could very well be that. It's, you know, it's all about wanting to get together with others, get together with community and share that elation and share that happiness. Some of you might be planning a vacation with people. You might be wanting to get together and have a, a you know, some sort of a, a vacation together with family or friends. And also it could be about throwing parties and wanting to ha be entered to get involved in entertainment this week or in the near future if you're allowed to do that depending on where you live in the world and the restrictions that are being applied to you it's about good fortune my friends it's about having fun it's about happy conclusions it's beautiful reason to celebrate anything you know success in anything as well but it can be reunions too, getting together with those that you haven't been able to see in a while what a great thing to happen so it's got many different different reasons that you have to celebrate coming in with your next card you've got the page of swords you're going to be hearing about something and it could have to do with something to do with the truthfulness and you know sometimes you we receive these messages and we don't like who told them to us or how it was presented to us remember pages are immature they haven't matured yet and this particular one might not have a lot of finesse when it comes to uh blurting things out don't attack the messenger just take the message okay it could be a bit challenging um, it could also have to do with some sort of a contract agreement that you might be asked to sign uh, and you and you're going to have to do this um, it might have to do with legal matters so I think it could challenge you and may create some delays at the moment when you receive it but you're ready to take take it because it's an important message okay it's an important message for you to receive and it like I say could have to do with legal matters temperance coming in towards you temperance means take your time and we talked about that time for a nap here we talked about you know uh, taking your time and that means do things in moderation don't go jumping into the quicksand and then try to figure out how you're going to swim your way out no matter how good it looks remember everything that that sparkles is not gold okay Th this is all about doing things in slow-mo thinking about things articulately not you know not jumping in not making rash decisions uh, 
you know, spur of the moment things. This is about taking your time. Balance, right? So, you know, go at a moderate pace. Don't push yourself, okay? Uh, this is also about, again, uh, you know, collaborating and cooperating with blended ideas with other people. Uh, you know, finding a balance between uh, what you want and what you're doing. Waiting for better timing. Okay, so just try to cooperate with others at this time and I think you're going to see forgiveness is going to bring a healing element into something as well. It's going to allow it to, to start again with a new beginning. Queen of Wands, yeah, she's that queen that puts her finger up at all those naysayers. She says, yeah, all those uh, all those people that doubted me, watch me. I mean, she's a queen that's walked through the fire. She's been to hell and back, and she's fearless. She's focused, very focused, and now she's going to stand up for her rights. She's going to move forward towards her goals, and nothing's going to waver or stop her. And again, that's letting go of your fear, stepping up into your power of confidence and saying, you know what, enough is enough. I've dealt with my demons, and now I'm going forward here towards my goals best card in the deck my beautiful Taurus look what you got the Sun being able to see light at the end of the tunnel being able to move forward knowing that you you're you're going to be able to take a breath of fresh air and a breath of relief so beautiful card about joy and public recognition and also it's a card that says get ready to feel better you're gonna have more vibrancy in your health your physical and your emotional health as well you're going to be succeeding and it's all about abundance that's going to bring you to that success okay and remember abundance comes in the form of time effort support and or financial abundance so this is a beautiful card that says you're on the right path stand in your confidence level and be yourself beautiful Okay, let's see what we have here for clarification for my Taurus spirit. What do they need to see? Listen to this, the geese going by my window. What do they need to know? What do they need to expect? This has been a crazy morning, my beautiful Taurus, uh, for many distractions. I've had geese going by the window, as you can hear. I've had sirens going down the street. It's been crazy. Thank God we have a pause button on our videos, but that one I didn't stop at. So card goes on the bottom. I love my geese here. I live on this lake and I have many of them. Okay, and they literally fly by my window. It's unbelievable okay so starting off with our three of pentacles our crowning energy you get again celebration look what this is three of cups coming in under the three of cups definitely you're going to have reason to get together you're going to want to be with your girlfriends your buddies you're going to want to be be with your family those that you care about you're going to have reason to celebrate something when this ace of pentacles shows up i think you're going to have reason to want to get together with others and celebrate coming in with the devil you have the nine of cups make a wish wishes come true so I think you're going to be able to see something come into play here giving up addictive behavior making the healthy decisions that you need to make you're going to see uh, prosperity abundance happiness wow your cups are filling my beautiful beautiful Taurus coming in with our ace of Pentacles you've had a struggle here uh, the seven of wands says keep moving I, I like to call this the wounded warrior uh, I've always called this particular card that um, and that's my choice here because that's what I've always thought of this particular card fighting a hard battle but not backing down it is the eight or it is the seven it's not the eight or the nine um, but it does say you've worked hard towards what you've got and I think you're gonna see now that your hard fight your hard work and effort that you applied to something if that's the reason you're going to see this this beautiful card of abundance coming into you page of cups on top of the ten of swords could have been a uh, this could have been a situation that was surrounded by a water sign a pisces cancer or scorpio this particular page that might have been a, a contributing factor to uh either helping you or maybe there was a challenge there with this ten of swords but the the the, the meaning of this page of cups is is they could be coming in with their hand and attention affection respect um, you know maybe even an apology but they could also be coming in with their hand in love and it's a wonderful distraction they're they're quite intuitive they're quite psychic they tap into your psyche they have this ability to tap into your energy and you know the cups are very sensitive emotional and um, you know types of signs so this particular night could be coming in here and you're going in a new direction now the worst is over maybe you're getting together with this beautiful page of cups coming in with your reason to celebrate it's over you don't have to worry anymore this is where you were up in your head thinking that you couldn't go forward that you that you your 
your, your passage forward was impeded and you were blocked and stopped. Uh-uh. You got up in your head. Let that feeling go. Don't worry because you're definitely, for some of you, you realize that and that's why you have reason now. It, the worst is over. Whatever you were worrying about, now you're going to have reason to celebrate. A page of swords, you have the high priestess stepping up into your power of intuitiveness knowing that if there was any secrets in the background guess what this page of swords just let you know okay so you're going to hear some information from the background a secret from the background that again might delay your plans that you wanted to do but you're going to be able to deal with them and it could be a bit challenging but step up into your intuitiveness i think you've kind of sensed something was going on for some of you and now you found out what it was Temperance, taking your time. You've got a great card. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Happiness, home life, security financially. Uh, you know, good communication with if you have children. Uh, great card. This is all about happiness. Also, it's a card of inheritance. You could be inheriting something here, and it could be money. Um, you know, it's a sense of completion. Tens are always the end of things, and it's coming in with the temperance, but maybe it's been taking its time to get to you, and, it, and maybe it still is, but you're going to get it looks great okay queen of wands that beautiful queen you've got this the eight of pentacles doing the hard work yeah she's focused i think you're working on your goals here when it comes to something and often i always look at this as working on your goals in your profession and your career some of you might be going back to school taking a course maybe you've got some naysayers say yeah right and you're going to show them up some of you could be doing that but you're perfecting your craft you're per perfecting your career you're moving ahead you've stepped up and that's why you're going to have reason here to see success reason to celebrate and the sun okay look what you got ten of swords twice here so it's over it landed on the sun it means that you were stuck in a position where you couldn't get up you couldn't move forward you felt as though things weren't moving forward uh, in a progressive positive direction but guess what it's over you're not stabbed in the back anymore you're not stuck there anymore and your card came in here best card in the deck the sun progress positivity light at the end of the tunnel success beautiful beautiful card well, my beautiful, beautiful Taurus, this is your reading for this week, and I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful, optimistic week here to look forward to. Always remember, the universe is not happening to you. The universe is reacting to you. Be mindful of what you throw out there, and always remember that the universe and the divine, your higher self, wants you to succeed, wants you to find happiness and peace, so don't fight it. Surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. Let's continue to play safe, stay safe, and be safe, and we'll all see each other very soon.